Hello and welcome to Somerville Neighborhood News. I'm Dave Ortega from Somerville Media Center and I'm happy to be joined in the studio today with Ara Schur, who is one of the leads of the Somerville Bicycle Committee Education and uh, Encouragement. Encouragement Team. Yep. Welcome to you. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us here today. Yeah, and I'm also joined with Ken Carlson, who is no stranger to these studios, and he is the chair of the Somerville Bicycle Committee. Thanks, Dave. Great Welcome to be back. here. Thank you. And so we want to start off with, uh, coming up in a few weeks, is Bay State Bike Month. Correct. So Bay State Bike Month is in May, and uh, we're having a kickoff event here in Somerville. It's next Sunday, April 28th, so just over, just under two weeks from now, and it's an Aeronaut Brewery from 1 to 5 in the afternoon, right at the end of April to, you know, open up and kick off the, the month of celebration. Good weather's back, people are dusting off their bicycles, and it's time to come out and um, hobnob with a lot of other cyclists and cycle advocates, and we have a very interesting program planned for the afternoon. Okay, what what's uh, what do you have in, in store in that program? Yeah, so it's from 1 to 5 in the afternoon. We'll have live music from 1 to 3, and then also from 4 to 5. And in between, we have a panel. It's going to be an interactive panel. It's moderated by Somerville Councilor Stephanie Hirsch. And the title of the panel is Car Free Cities, Evolution or Revolution? Wow. And we have an That's interesting intriguing. and diverse <laughs> group of panelists to discuss. Um, and of course, there'll be audience participation. And we've got some polling out now that people can weigh in on some of the questions that will be asked. So we think that'll be very, very exciting and a good conversation. And we'll also have about 30 groups ranging from bicycle businesses to our organization to other local advocacy advocacy groups who will be there tabling and um, sharing their information and getting people to sign up for events. Um, so it should be a great event. Aeronaut is obviously a Somerville institution. Mm. Um, come and have great beer and meet other cyclists and um, we'll have a couple of activities that people can do. Um, we'll have a bike tune-up station. We'll have bike valet parking, so definitely bring your two-wheel ride with you. And there'll be some uh, kid-friendly activities. It should be a great afternoon. Oh, so kids are welcome. Kids are absolutely welcome. Um, you know, obviously not to enjoy the fruits of Aeronaut, but we'll have a couple of activities. Um, some craft making activities involving bike, old bike tubes and um, other things that we think kids will enjoy very much. So it's family friendly. Sounds like a really good way to kick off the uh, the Bay State Bike Month yep. here in Somerville. Yep. Uh, are there any other events in Somerville related to uh, Bike Month that you want to share? Oh yeah, there are a whole bunch. So this year we're actually partnering uh, with Somerville Climate Action to be part of Sustainable Week, so it's Sustainable Week, which mm -hmm. is April 27th to May 4th. Um, and on the same day, earlier in the morning, uh, there's a Somerville-wide open house tour of neighbors around Somerville who have done sustainability things, solar panels, depaving, other activities. Um, and so you can go on that tour. There'll be a bike map involved with that tour. Go see some of those homes and what people have done and then you know, wrap up the afternoon at Aeronaut. Um, all of this can be found, we'll put some links up on the screen, but certainly you can start at somervillebikes.org and from there you can find links to this activity, some of the other activities, and the um, sustainable tour as well. Um, and then Bike Week, uh, Bay State Bike Week, run by Mass Bike, follows on in the first week of May and there'll be a number of activities around that. One thing I wanted to just briefly talk about is uh, an activity that's taking place in Somerville, I mean, I'm sorry, Cambridge, which is a, a very family friendly bike bike kickstart to the summer. So Cambridge closes Memorial Drive starting in the beginning of May. So this is an event to get families and children out biking on Memorial Drive and in the area. And we've uh, interacted with them and partnered a little bit to make sure that we're not doing it on the same day and that we have weekend after weekend of family-friendly bike events. Very nice. Very nice. Um, now, uh, Ken, the, uh, the Bicycle Committee, Somerville Bicycle Committee, it's an advisory committee we were talking about earlier. Uh, so you advise the mayor on uh, bike advocacy. Um, so let's talk a little bit about construction and mm -hmm. some of the infrastructure the improvements that are happening in Somerville. Sure. So I think um, as anybody who drives, walks, bikes, takes the T, it's very clear that there's a lot of construction going on. We're right here in Union Square, and we can just look out on many uh, yellow-hatted uh, uh, construction workers and uh, advisors who are in the area. So there's a lot of things going on, both in changing the roadscape for the benefit of 
cars and bikes and pedestrians, uh, but there are some very specific bike uh, facilities that are going to be brought online uh, over the course of the next couple of months. We call this construction season in the bike world as well because we all wait all winter for the better weather when all of the projects we've been planning get to be implemented. So let's start <laughs> from the top down. Uh, the continual uh, saga of Beacon Street reconstruction, um, that project should wind up this by mid to late summer. And uh, when it's finished, uh, there's currently a southbound um, cycle track, basically a raised uh, bike lane coming down Beacon Street from Oxford, ending at approximately Museum Street, mm -hmm. and then it continues on again towards Dali. But excitingly, there'll be an outbound uh, bike facility in the opposing direction um, going uh, towards Porter Square. Mm -hmm. So there'll be, by the time uh, Beacon Street is reconstructed, we'll have a cycle track pretty much between Washington Street to Oxford Street in both directions with a little discontinuity closer actually where I live on Beacon. Um, and uh, then we'll have uh, brand new uh, pavement markings for what we call Lower Beacon from uh, Washington Street down to Inman Square. So we should have a much safer facility, a lot of green conflict paint to try to keep cyclists safe, a lot of education. Uh, the numbers of bikes per hour um, on Beacon Street, um, even when the street was not in great shape, were anywhere from four to 500 an hour during peak commuting hours. We expect that's going to go up probably by a good 20 or 30 percent with safer facilities. So it's, I read somewhere that that was the highest in the state. Is that still the case? It is. It is the wow. bu busiest bike corridor in the state. And it has been, apologies to all of our biking friends, but it's been in terrible shape over these last four years as the road has been reconstructed. There's been delays due to utility work and other issues, but it will be uh, wrapped up this, this year. So we're excited about Beacon Street. <clears throat> Another major corridor is uh, Webster Avenue, which actually is right outside mm -hmm. our doors here. Webster Avenue, uh, we recently uh, were able to get a uh, protected bike lanes that were installed last year, um, both towards Cambridge and back towards Union Square. And uh, that is almost going to be, that will be wrapped up in the next month or two as they finish striping and again putting down green conflict paint. But right now we have bollard protected uh, bike lanes on Webster, which is probably the third busiest uh, bike corridor in Somerville and, and up there statewide, statewide as well. So that'll be a nice, safe facility. Um, other things we're really excited about, um, there's obviously more things happening here in Union Square. There's construction and there's, there's, um, there's some bridge closures due to the, the GLX, uh, the right. Green Line Extension, uh, that actually have decreased <laughs> traffic into Union Square. Uh, but there are. Um, it's great for cyclists. It is, except <laughs> except we're we're faced with the same detours. Right, so there's yes. a, there's a bridge closure um, at um, in Union Square um, by where McGrath goes over um, Washington Street, and uh, that will also impel cyclists to have to um, get around that. But once you get back into Union Square, the traffic is lower, so that's a plus. Uh, coming down through Somerville Avenue from Porter Square into Union Square. Actually, cars can't come through Somerville Avenue, but bicycles can. Mm. It's, actually, it's actually very nice right now. So it's I got here this morning. It was, there, it was there very you nice. Are. Yeah, so it's a nice, almost safe, protected little um, fenced-in uh, bike lane, which brings you into Union Square, and then yeah. you go up and over Webster towards, towards Cambridge. Um, other big things, though, that we're really excited about. Uh, there's another bridge closure, too. I'm sorry. Broadway. There's a bridge closure on Broadway as you head into Powderhouse. That's also going to cause definitely disruption. So we have, uh, there are detour, suggested detour routes on the city of Somerville's website. We actually should put them on, on the uh, Somerville Bike Committee site as well, which I believe we have one or two of them, but we'll put them all in there. But we're really excited about, speaking of Broadway, so Broadway is going to have some really nice uh, bike facilities and a new um, dedicated uh, bus lane. So there'll be a dedicated bus bike lane for a good part of Broadway as you head up Broadway from um, Foss Park and mm -hmm. head towards, um, towards Magoon. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be uh, some, uh, this has been in the works for a while. We're going to have, some, for the first time, some, some very nice bike facilities and a dedicated bus route, uh, bus, bus lane, which will really facilitate uh, people getting um, both up and down <laughs> the big hill on Broadway. Yeah. But it, it will really open up. Um, that part of Somerville, which has been in need of good bike facilities for a while. And that is a tough hill. I've done that hill. It is. <laughs> it is. And, and I'm, I'm, af I'm afraid that the bike lanes aren't going to decrease the grade, um, but I think we'll all get uh, much stronger and uh, we will be a fitter community as a result of climbing that hill more. That's good. Um, 
And um, we have another uh, dedicated uh, bus bike lane pilot project going on in Holland. Mm. Holland Street is a, is a very narrow street for the amount of traffic it has, and uh, it's difficult for people who are driving, difficult for people who are taking the bus, or people who are biking. So there's a dedicated, uh, there's, there's going to be a pilot for a, uh, a dedicated bus bike lane, both towards Davis Square and back towards um, Teal Square. Teal Square, thank you. And uh, that is going to be put in place uh, early again this uh, spring slash summer. And we'll see how that pilot goes, but we're very uh, optimistic that it will go well and that it will become more of a permanent uh, type of facility. Um, there are some significant changes coming to Powderhouse Circle. Um, Powderhouse Circle will be reconstructed at a certain point in time, not in the near future, but probably like in the three to five year time frame. But this year you're going to see some um, significant uh, changes, mostly done with paint and, and bollards, but, but it will create um, bike facilities on Powderhouse Circle, better crossings for pedestrians, uh, a safer circle overall. Um, and there's also um, some, some bike facility recommendations that the bike committee is making for the length of Powderhouse Boulevard to try to improve that streetscape as well. So you're starting to see some significant changes um, in Somerville, kind of outside the, the usual places. We, we see a lot of um, changes and improvements um, in and around um, Porter Square and Union Square and some in Davis Square, but we're really trying to spread out the bike facilities more towards Broadway, um, further out towards Teal Square to try to improve um, bike transportation or active transportation throughout the city. And just make Somerville a more bikeable city overall. It is, and you know, right now we are fifth in the country in terms of Fantastic. the percent of people who bike um, or use a bike every day. And that's not counting university students. That's not counting people who just um, don't bike to work but just go out and do their local shopping. So we're, we're pushing 10% of the city that, that gets around on a bike every day. So, but what our goal is as a committee, and again, we're an advisory committee and um, we're a very active advisory committee, um, is to really help the city uh, envision a, a safer place. Because if we're encouraging people to get on their bicycles and, and get around uh, by bike, we want them to be safe. And that's a very high priority. Um, so that's uh, some of the things that are going on. There, there's many more projects. I forget any other major projects that we're I think that's, that's the that's gamut the for bike facilities. Um, obviously, there's a, an overarching plan both at the city and something that we work on to connect different parts of Somerville, and we tackle a number of those as, as they're coming into the construction cycle you know, from the city. But the goal is to connect the whole city more effectively for bicycles, you know, mass transit, pedestrians, et cetera. Right. <clears throat> oh, you will see new bike lanes on Park Street, on Temple Street, and on Washington Street, those those projects are being implemented actually in the in the next two right. weeks. Those are the other ones I I forgot. So a lot of changes, a lot of good positive changes, um, and uh, you can again find out all of this. We actually have a newsletter that we put out once a month. If you go to summervillebikes.org, type in your email address, you'll get one email a month, and it'll have a really entertaining and information filled uh, newsletter. So. I, I get them, and it's chock full of entertainment and information. Go. So, Fantastic. yes, it's another way to find that. out about all the events as well. We we advertise all the events through that. Right. And if someone is interested in joining or coming to a meeting, um, how do they go about doing that? Can they just come into any one of them? That's how I got started. All right, there yep. you are. Yep. So <laughs> I, the meetings are the first Thursday of the month from 6:30 to 8, right at the police station on Washington Street. And um, I just showed up as a member of the public. And um, I'm not on the committee, but I started to get involved and go to the meetings and volunteer. There's always a lot of things to do to volunteer for. So if people are interested or have special skills or interested in one or more of these projects or the events, we can always use more hands. So it would be great to have more members of the public showing up to the meetings and finding out what we do. Very nice. And, and that's an important distinction. I mean, I, I hope Ara joins the committee officially. We would love to have her. Um, but there's ways to get involved in the committee without becoming an official member. We have five um, teams. They're called the E teams, the E's of, of bicycle advocacy. So ERA is on the uh, education and encouragement team. That's two teams forged into one. We also have an evaluation and planning team, an engineering team, and we have an enforcement and bike safety team. Mm -hmm. So people tend can gravitate towards their interests. They don't need to go to the whole committee meeting if they don't want to, but if they are passionate about education, 
passionate about enforcement and bike safety, they can participate in those meetings. And they're, they're once a month in between the, the main monthly bike committee meeting. Mm. And again, that can be found on our NIFTI newsletter or on our website. So um, there are a few other things for Bike Month that we'd like to get back to if we could sure. come back to that. Yeah. Because you know, we're really excited about May. It is, I'm looking outside and it's, can't, it's can't wait to get back on your bike. You can't wait to get back on your bike. So we do a, a bike talk um, series, a bike talk social hour at Aeronaut. It's always the first Wednesday of every month. And uh, the next one is going is to be- Ken. It's Ken and Tom Lamar, my, the vice chair of the bike committee. And we are, what are we talking on? We're talking about changing gears to keep Somerville bicycling forward. We're going to be talking about the past, present, and future of biking. In Somerville, we'll cover a lot of these projects that we're talking about now, but also look into the future and say, what kind of cycling city do we want in Somerville? Um, and that's once a month, and we always have, uh, I don't know about next month, but we always have great speakers, usually. You know. um, we um, also do a bike breakfast, um, compliment, uh, compliments of Whole Foods on Beacon Street, great <clears throat> partners, also a bicycle-friendly business just like Aeronaut. And the last Friday of every month, starting in April, our first one is April 26th, uh, next week from Friday. And uh, we will be, um, well, depending on when this airs, so let me just say April 26th. Um, and it's in the morning from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. And it's a commuter breakfast for, um, for anybody who walks or bikes to work. And uh, with us there will be the Green Streets Initiative. Uh, we'll also have Crimson Bikes will be there to tune up your bike. Wow. And, um, it so it's, is, not just, it's not just breakfast, it's potentially yeah, it's a tune-up. Bike chat. Yeah. Tune -up. Wow. It's, it's, it's Find out about more events. It's, it's, a, it's, a breakfast for, it's breakfast for you and it's a treat for your bicycle. Very nice. So, um, and uh, there's one on April 26th and the, the one in May will be the very last day. It will be May, May 31st. Um, and Bay State Bike Week, or I like to call it Bay State Bike Month because it really is the entire month. If you go to um, baystateBikeWeek.org, which is run by MassBike, you will see all kinds of fantastic activities, not just in Somerville, but outside of Somerville. But one thing that is in Somerville on May 18th, the Somerville Bike Kitchen, is, which is located in West Somerville, um, is going to be having a, a, a barbecue open house with what are they calling it? It's a bike pageant where people can bike come and pageant. people can come and show off their their bikes and and I think oh. they'll be voting for different you know um, awards for best bike <laughs> best looking bike. Somerville Bike Kitchen is a, is a fantastic DIY uh, bicycle shop that teaches people how to how, empowers people how to how to fix your own bicycle and maintain your own bicycle. Mm -hmm. uh, and they'll be they'll be at the event on April 28th also. Okay. So right. you can find out more about it then. Yeah, I'm going to consult my little thing here. One of my favorite things, uh, May 14th, uh, Broadway Bicycle School, another fantastic DIY bike shop, um, has a pancake breakfast on May 14th in the middle of Bike Bike Month, and that's always fun. So free pancakes if you show up to their to their shop. Um, and those are the main events that we'd like to talk about, but there are um, a lot of activities, depending on where you live too. If you don't live in Somerville, live in Boston or outside, uh, if you go to baystatebikeweek.org, you will find all the different uh, bike-related activities for the month of May. Sounds so. fantastic. Uh, it sounds like a, a chalk, a month chock full of bike-related activities. Absolutely, yeah. Looking forward to that. Well, thank you both very much for coming into the studios today and uh, sharing all this information. And uh, we encourage everybody out there to get on their bikes and uh, come on out to these great events coming up for Bay State Bike Month. And can we just one more, uh, one, one more uh, pitch? Absolutely, absolutely. Monday, April 28th, Monday. 1 to 5 p.m., Aeronaut. Come on out and start the kickoff for Bike Month. It'll be terrific. Fantastic. Excellent. We'll see thank you Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Very good.